Did Ryzen just kill my memory? So, as you guys been able to see on my road to Ryzen, I've been testing my newly built Ryzen system. And, well, it's been going pretty well. I just released the, the videos of the benchmark, so I thought, next step, let's see how memory performance impacts Ryzen. So, I went to my BIOS, and I selected the XMP profile, which neatly set the memory to 2933 MHz of the 3000 the modules are rated for, and it also bumped the voltage to 1.35 volts. I didn't do any manual settings, I just enabled the XMP profile. There's a button for it on my Gigabyte uh, Gaming 5. I hit it, I, I hit save, I rebooted, and the system booted just fine. But after a uh, half a minute or so, I suddenly noticed that one dim wasn't lit up anymore. I thought, hmm, okay. And so I rebooted to the BIOS, I set it back to original mode, and I turned off the system and turned it back on again. And I thought, well, that should surely fix the problem. But now, both dims were dead. Or rather, the lighting was dead. The system booted fine, but ch checking CPU-Z, I was suddenly in single-channel mode. What the hell? So, I booted back to the BIOS, and I enabled the XMP profile again, and I booted again. And I was still in single-channel mode. I was at 1500 or 2. 2933 megahertz but single channel and i tried looking f through the spd information and i could only find one dim so then it started to dawn on me had had ryzen killed one of my memory modules what the hell i didn't even do any manual volting or cast latency settings or whatever so I rebooted back into the BIOS and I tried to, some different settings. I never went above 1.35 volts or whatever. I set it back to stock. I reset, reset the BIOS, everything I could think of, and nothing helped. So I turned off the system and I uh, basically pulled out the two modules I had in there. I owned only two modules in there, not four. And I started testing each module in each slot individually. And I had model... Um, uh, 178 and module 177 in there. Well, as it turns out, after a few hours of testing, 178 over here, this guy, is dead. System will not post with it in there. It'll give a different uh, LED numeric value. It's, it will say 0D uh, instead of having no memory in there. But with it in there, it doesn't post whatever I do. And module 177, system posts, boots fine, even overclocks to, to 2933 MHz, no problem. LEDs, dead, they're gone, not going to work anymore. Same for 177, by the way. But I remembered, I still had 176 and 175 on hand. They were still in the package. So I reset the BIOS to default again. I rebooted. Works just fine. Lighting works. Even the app to control the LEDs on the modules uh, works just fine. And, well, um, I don't dare overclock these anymore. Or is it even overclocking if the memory is rated for it? I mean, what the hell? So I sent an email to G-Skill, uh, but I'm kind of at a loss here. Because I want to continue my testing, but I don't want to fry my other modules. Is the module bad? Is is the motherboard or Ryzen bad? Or is it the combination which killed the modules? Because it killed the lighting on two, and it, 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 it absolutely fried one of them. So what the hell is going on? Has anyone seen anything like this? Let me know in the comments, and uh, I'll keep you guys updated on how this progresses. But as of right now, I will not do any memory overclocking with uh, Ryzen at this point. So... Uh, I was going to do memory video and a, a CPU overclocking video, but at this point, I don't know, man. Let me know what you think happened, and uh, if you think I did anything stupid by enabling the XMP profile, I mean, <laughs> how? <laughs> that's just even the most basic thing you do. So, uh, I don't know, just let me know in the comments what you think, and uh, this story will be continued.
soon. Bye.